Good morning world! Monday, May 23rd. Today's the day of the fire inspection. Yesterday there was some excitement down a block from my house. This boat ramp over here, and you see these skid marks right here. Uh, this boat ramp over here, there was a truck with uh, 11 miles on it. That's it. Brand new 2016. The guy backed it into the water. He said the computer locked up or something like that. So it literally sunk up to the roof. Uh, people threw a rope out to him, and they pulled him in. And damn it, man, and I missed it. Unfortunately, I didn't get that on video, but that would have been cool video. And by the way, Tuesday, the next day, I actually saw that guy and it was a 2016 Dodge. And he said that the Dodges have some sort of a, a electrical issue where uh, somebody actually drove through their kitchen also. So he drove into the lake, somebody else drove into the kitchen. So I guess there's a recall on the 216 Dodges. Oh, that's not a good place to park. Well, here I am at the office, waiting for my fire inspection. It's about 12.15, they should be here any minute, but I'm watching Casey Neistat's videos. Look at his drone collection. But this area here is gonna be the dedicated drone station. Those are my little toy drones there. These are my retired phantoms. So Let me show you mine. And here's where I keep my drones. Orange County Fire Rescue. Uh-oh, there they are. All right, well, here it is. I failed inspection because I don't have my permits. We'll see her next time. Well, you saw it, she just left. Basically, uh, she kind of walked around and uh, looked at a few different things, the fire extinguisher, the, the exit door. But the problem was that I have to have all this stuff uh, approved, but the utilities customer service is still not approved because they're uh, recalculating my payment because uh, they think I have two wet chairs, but I only have uh, those dry chairs. Well, so you saw it, I failed inspection. The reason why I failed inspection is because apparently you have to do the, uh, you gotta get the building permit first and it has to be stamped and approved by the building department. So I can't do the fire inspection until I have the building permit stamped and approved. Because she says what she has to do is look at the building permit and make sure that everything is according to the building permit. But I don't understand, that's the fire department. I thought the building department inspects what's on the building permit. Who knows, I don't know. We'll see what happens next. Yeah, right, good luck finding a good one. Okay, what the hell is that over there? That's something you'd see at a mud bog. What's it run on propane? in a rear view mirror. Wednesday, May 25th. So I got a letter from the building department and uh, this is interesting. Florida has a very broad public records law. All emails from the county officials are kept as public record. Your email communications, including your email address, may be disclosed to the public and media at any time. Apparently the contractor that blew me off and I have gotten this uh, email. Since he disappeared, hopefully he's not gonna pick up this stamped permit. Contractor of record licensing information has not been provided. Please provide this information to our contractor license section. Email. Well, I have it because I took a photograph of it. That the license type proposed is qualified to perform the scope of the work described on application and our plans. I don't know about that, and I think he's active. Notarized signature of both owner and contractor is required if the work is valued over 2500 uh Oh, we'll see what happens with that. The contractor of record must appear for the permit to be issued or may give a notarized power of attorney to another individual. Great. For those of you that have been following this, I've been dealing with this contractor since November. He uh, ended up taking off. So now I've been doing everything myself, but uh, the permit is kind of under his name. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna go over there and see if I can pick it up. And apparently these are the fees that I have to pay, uh, $273, which, he was supposed to pay because as you see in number uh, eight, contractor shall at its own expense obtain all permits necessary for the work to be performed. That was the contract that he gave me. Well, he disappeared. But that's okay because the next is to complain to the Department of Business and Professional Regulation. This guy's gotta get his license taken away. And finally, we have no leaks in our roof. So one day hopefully we can start staining this and uh, Get that up. Off to the building department. Let's see if they give me my paperwork. I didn't do any filming yesterday because I was doing paperwork and just catching up on a bunch of stuff. But uh, the Utilities Commission did drop that $4,300 that they wanted to charge me for the chairs in the operatories. Nice. There you go. That's where I have to go. Wish me luck. I've been here a bunch of times. I never noticed they have an electric vehicle charging station here. That's cool. 
Oh, if I need an AC guy, there you go. There's a signs guy there, perfect. That's what I keep saying. The next time I have a project to do, I'm just gonna come to the administrative building over here and uh, look for the guys that are actually filing permits. Well, I'm not gonna hire this guy because I see he's an idiot. Look how he parked. Well, I can park over here. I don't have to worry about hitting that guy. This is incredible. There's a roofer there. There's a fence guy there. Oh, there's another fence guy here. I am convinced this is the best place. Oh, there's a pool enclosure guy there. This is gonna be the best place to uh, hire contractors. The monitor says I'm number three on the waiting list. So all the permit stuff is stamped and ready to go, but they just made me fill out some paperwork that says I'm taking over the job now and that I don't have that GC anymore. And also they want a notarized letter from my landlord saying that um, he's allowing me to do the work. So more stuff to do. So I sent my landlord a message and he is going to uh, write me, well, no. He said, email him a letter of what they want and then he'll get it notarized and uh, sign it. So that's my homework now, to send my landlord a letter. But in the meantime, I just stopped by the uh, Freshfield Farms. That's where we buy all our meat and stuff. Look how organized this lady is when she does the uh, checkout. Well, good evening, it's six o'clock. I just woke up, I passed out for a few hours. I was beat up, man. But anyway, the landlord just sent me a text that he said that he has a letter for me that I can give to the building department and uh, he's allowing me to do the build out. 7.30 p.m., uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I haven't drank wine in a few days, so I'm probably gonna go get a bottle of wine, check out Mila, she's still lazy, she still doesn't wanna open up the gate and park. A few nights ago, the car was left outside on the other side of the gate. Last night, she parked inside. But uh, tomorrow, I'm taking a letter to the uh, building department. Hopefully, I'll be able to get my uh, permitting, or my, my permits, I guess, because I gotta get the stamp copies and stuff and bring them and i don't know what i have to do next but apparently the inspections are next so once i get the permit now i have to get the inspections by the building department and as long as i have the permit in my hand now i can ask the fire department to come back and take a look hopefully we'll see you guys next time uh i'm not sure i don't want to post anything stupid up or i want to post something with some content so i may or may not be back tomorrow but on another note uh memorial day weekend uh not sure what i want to do I was going to go take a ride up to Black Bike Week because if you check out my other channel, I got some good views on the Black Bike Week videos and there's some crazy looking bikes and uh, cars out there. Uh, I don't know, what should I do this weekend? By the way, Black Bike Week is up in South Carolina, so uh, who's up in Myrtle Beach area?